What up, folks? I am Ultrazilla, and today I got a review of uh, the Bandai Diversity of Life on Earth. The Diversity of Life on Earth. Gashapons, we got the Stag Beetle, and we got the Juvenile and Adult Prey Mantis in both green and brown. And I keep saying we because I'm here with... That's right, because we picked these guys up last weekend at the Bandai Gashapon US little pop-up they have going on this month at Book Off, both here in Brooklyn, they have one in Manhattan, and I believe in the LA stores as well, or California stores, I should say. So we went down, we grabbed a lot of different balls you could see, like Gashapon balls, uh, you could see our uh, unboxing of those, unwrapping of those, <laughs> uh, from last week in its own separate video. I'll link it up at the end. Uh, but here, we got some reviews to do. This is the second time I've done some Diversity of Life reviews. The first one, I had a tortoise and a spider crab, which unfortunately... I got a double of the spider crab uh, amongst these guys, so I'm not going to review that. Anywho, without any further ado, let's get to the yeah, review. Okay. So first up, we got this really neat looking little guy. And you got to put them together. I did have to heat up pretty much all the joints to get them uh, all in properly. Uh, but that's no problem at all. Uh, and they look good. This guy looks really, really nice for a gash pun. And if you wanted to know, they uh, took four tokens to do this, and each token was two dollars. So these guys were eight bucks each. I think for eight bucks, man, you're getting your money's worth here. Articulated insect. It's cool. They had to bring in the machines from Japan. There was actual Bandai technicians there, uh, <laughs> setting everything up. So yeah, I, I think uh, I'm good with the price point on this. You try to import these guys and let me know how much it costs you. Uh, anywho, I'm going to do articulation first. You got a ball joint here and there. Double ball joint for the head and neck, which is great. Then you got a hinge here, which swivels as well. Then you got a hinge at the elbow and you can swivel it right there. And then uh, these little pincers, nail, arms, claws. What do you call these? Anyway, you got a bunch of hinges. Sights. You got hinge sights. You got a hinge here, hinge there for the little mini one. The claw. Anywho, some good motion there. This moves here and back here. You can see that there's a hinge here, so you could go all the way up. So it could do like it's more attacking pose, aggressive pose. Just cool. Uh, and then you got articulation there. And back there for this praying mantis. Is there your legs? What's that? Then legs. there's legs, yeah. Oh, uh, there you go. There's a ball joint. Pop that on me. Okay. So that might need a little more heat. Anyway, these guys are on ball joints. I won't go too crazy moving them around just in case um, they decide to keep popping out on me. But there's the articulation on this guy. He looks absolutely great, as I was about to say, and then I decided to do articulation again. You have some paint back here, which is excellent. Some nice, like, a little bit of yellow that's kind of gradating outwards into the green. I think that looks great. And you can see the green on this side, which looks amazing. Uh, very, very nice. I love the sculpt, you know. The legs look pretty awesome. Looks great. Right? Yeah, look at the back here, the tail. Very nicely done. Beautiful stuff here. The back here, again, beautiful sculpt. Wow, that is pretty incredible. I really like it. And then you see the little, little bit of spikes here. That's awesome. Bigger spikes over here. The arms just look very, very nice. Oh, yeah, I can't even see anything there. Uh, but it looks beautiful. All sides, guys. Beautiful texture. I mean, if looks real if you put this somewhere you know outside um i think a lot of folks would think it's real then you see that awesome colorization on the head too i think that looks really good and the eyes are completely translucent with a black dot in them and you see it inside and it just looks like there's real things going on in there you know what i'm saying the antenna here are really soft plastic i'd be careful with these really nice though 
Um, they do come covered up, and I don't have any of the Yashapon balls here because uh, we actually brought them back today. Yes. Um, there was a little bin where you could deposit your uh, discarded Gashapon balls, so we brought them back. I don't know if they reuse them. That'd be cool if they recycled them. That'd be great. A reused or recycled, whatever they do. But this guy looks fantastic. I really, really like him a lot. Next up, we got the Adult Mantis, and uh, you know, you could see that it's got amazing, amazing wings. The sculpt, I believe, is the same except for uh, this middle part of the body, which is the added section. Um, as you can see, that section is different than this section here. So that section is different, but it appears the rest is the same. The tail, the top part, all of, uh, you know, the claws and the feet, that's all the same, but then you get the wings which look amazing. You got a little bit of white paint on both sides there. Really nice sculpt on the top wing. The translucent wings are amazing looking. Really, really nice. I love the colors on this guy. He's kind of like a like brownish. It says brown, yes. right? But it's kind of like a, almost like a mauve as well. And um, it's really, really good looking. And then again, you got that kind of lighter color going down this way. Really like that. I think this guy's playing some tricks on my camera right now because we got we're at site B and we got uh, the different background here, but for a couple of reviews. But uh, this looks amazing. I love these wings. These translucent wings are absolutely beautiful. And the rest of it is just really nice. I love the gradation there. That's just absolutely fantastic. He's got all the same articulation. I'm not gonna go over it all again, uh, but the wings are on ball joints as well. So you have the extra added wing articulation uh, and the head is really nice too. Same thing going on here that you had going on before, but different colors. Beautiful. I love the eyes. They're like amber and um, it's gorgeous. Gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous. Gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous. <laughs> I love it, man. I think these guys are stupendous. Really uh, happy that we got one you know, young one and one adult, and they were the two different colors. Yes. Right? That's really cool. What were the other ones in the series? It was... Um... Uh, the Orchid Mantis, which is pink, mm -hmm. and there's another one that was white. And another Orchid Mantis that was white, and these two, and then adult green mm -hmm. Frank Mantis. The, the adult and the, the young one of this one. Yes. Right, so there was a bunch more. I wouldn't have mind getting one of the orchid ones, uh, but you know, I didn't get any more, by the way. Uh, we just did a drop off today, but I didn't get anything else, anything further. I thought about getting another mantis to see if we could get the orchid, but I decided, hmm, I'm good right now. <laughs> I'm good right now with this because chances are you might just get another one that you have. And I'm not 100% interested in getting the other ones of these two because I'm, I'm, I feel good having, you know, this as one and this as the other. I think it really works for me. As for the other species we got, we got a stag beetle. This one is a flying one. And just like the mantis, it has beautiful, like kind of translucent, almost like golden wings in a way. It's just really, really nice. Brownish, goldish, really like it a lot beautiful sculpt on that he's got little wings as well obviously there's one that doesn't have these um ah, man this is so good and this you know if you take out the wings on this one you could close it up like so you know which is cool and it makes me think if you close out the wings here could you do the same on this i don't know if you can i don't think it goes downwards that much uh, maybe Maybe you could do that. I don't really want to take out the wings, but I kind of want to do it. But it's not really. Yeah, I think you can, you know? Like if you take out these guys and then kind of sort of close it up, I think you could do that. Yeah. Uh, but you could definitely do it here, obviously, you know? Like, look at that, that closes up perfectly. Uh, but underneath is beautiful paint and sculpt. That's love, so love this, right? It looks really good, very bug-like. I really like it a lot. All the little, like I said, obviously, this guy comes with a stand, um, which is cool. You know, if you've seen my HG Godzilla 
uh, Gashapon reviews, uh, you know that the balls do the same thing there. You take them apart and you flip them out and you create a nice little stand, which, you know, has some articulation points, which is good. Uh, but it's not, actually, it doesn't really have articulation points. You take it out and you just move it around. Um, and then, you know, you know, the part that's in here. But just looking at this guy underneath, it's all just done in black, but the sculpt is pretty decent, you know, throughout. It's not bad at all. The top part looks pretty good. His eyes are painted. Looks really, really nice. Check that out. Very, very cool. And then the giant pincers here look amazing. Really, really good looking. Do they get yeah, a little bit of paint here? Is that the mouth, bud? On the bottom? Mm. What do you think? Is that a mouth? I guess so. I think, I think it would be, right? Where else would it be? Yeah, I guess so. So I like it. I think it looks really nice. Articulation. These guys move. Oh, ball joint just popped out. Uh, these little things here move. I would be super careful with those. And then, oh gosh, the little legs do move. Again, do be careful. This guy's just going to stay on his little uh, stand and fly and that's it. But they all move if you need them to. The wings move as you saw. Uh, and then the body moves up here moves in there and this back here moves so yeah it's got articulation that's that's the name of the game with these guys uh they are articulated um bugs animals whatever you know it is they are awesome and uh these three are quite amazing and for your size comparison here are the first two diversity of life on earth figures i got with the uh leopard tortoise and the spider crab and how they uh, stack up with these guys. I really like this line. I would like to get more of them. It looks great. Don't they look awesome? Which is your favorite so far? Um, this one. Yeah, the stag beetle? I think the stag beetle's pretty, pretty cool. I, I'm still partial to the tortoise, mostly. I really love him. I think he's great. Um, but I'm also kind of fine, like, like I said, I don't want more of these guys. I wouldn't mind the other thing, but I don't need everything. But definitely, guys, uh, I will I will definitely be getting, you know, more of these, you know, here and there. I, I'm not committing to the line in full, of, of course. But, you know, here and there, I would like to get more of these guys. Because I just like the way they look. I, oh, I love animals. Ultra Little Junior loves animals. Uh, you, really? you know, so, and insects and whatever. And, uh, you know, uh, I, I just, I, I think this line is cool. And it's not that expensive, honestly. Uh, all told so uh, I do dig it definitely uh, you know expect to see more in the future I don't know which ones but hey whenever I get some more I'll, I'll review them like I have with these uh, couple of reviews so and my final thoughts on these guys as uh, Ultra Zill Jr. kind of warms it off <laughs> I think they're awesome I really do I really said it already um, but I enjoy it. Uh, I enjoy this line and you know, I enjoyed seeing the Gashapon machines like very close to me. That was really cool. It'd be awesome if they got a few more before, um, they leave. I don't know if they're going to switch them out, but I'll check again. You know, they, they hadn't today, as I said, um, we went earlier again, you know, to drop off the balls and you know, they were the same machine. So I didn't feel like getting any more of these particular ones, even though there was another machine of stag beetles, I think the previous ones. Um, but I just, I didn't feel like getting another one of these, you know, so. Um, but if I see more, I'll I'll get more, you know, the diverse ones, the diversity of life on earth, right? Uh, but yeah, I really dig them. And there you go, guys. That's my review. Hope you dug it. Let me know your thoughts down below. And if you could please like, comment, subscribe, and share. Check me out on Facebook and Instagram. Stay safe. Till next time. Peace out, peeps.